All right, so Tuesday morning at 6 a.m. EST, Yami and Luck, season six ceremony, Yami and Luck will be coming to Black Clover Mobile Global, which is going to bring a pretty, like, okay patch. I mean, it's a very long one, 28 days. Now, Yami and Luck are coming, but we're going to be having also Mario Leona. So, Mario is also going to be the other unit coming as a Fest and a Julius rerun. All right, so those are the two other uh, banners that there's going to be. So, we're going to talk about the kits, okay? And also talk about if you should summon, but honestly, I'll just say you probably shouldn't. But if you want to know what they're going to do, then stay tuned for all that. Um, I'm going to talk more about Mario and all that in other videos and stuff. So that's more of a discussion for later. But let's talk about Yabi. Um, he is actually really cool because he has a Dimension Slash. And I mean, bro, it's so weird that they gave a seasonal, a like big powerful move like that. It's like giving, um, I don't know, it's just so weird. Uh, it's like if they did Black Asta on a seasonal. I just don't get it because Dimension Slash is something people wanted and instead of putting it on a like, uh, what's it called? A canon Yami, like a Yami from the story, right? Uh, just a normal Yami that isn't a seasonal. They gave it to um, a seasonal ceremony Yami. So it was a bit odd. So let's talk about what he does. All right. So he is basically a unit revolving around skill one. So a skill one does 50% extra damage um, of attack and magic attack. And every time you use the skill one, you get extra damage increase up to four times. So you could do an extra, what, four attacks, five attacks, or extra attacks basically every time. Um, and if you have the skill page, you get increased speed, which is very good because you want to spam the skill one. Now the skill two is an AOE, removes counterattack, which could have been really good, but honestly, counter is just not really prominent in the meta. It's not exactly that crazy. So whatever. Um, now, what is cool is that if an enemy is taking bleed damage and flicks a stun, the only problem is... Uh, the person you would be able to stun with them is another Yami, so you just can't do it, right? AoE stun is only Witch Queen in this Yami, and you're not really using Witch Queen with Yami in a lot of cases unless you're running Black Asta. So it's just, it's hard to make use of this because also stun block exists, etc., etc., especially with Mario Leona. Making use of AoE stun block when he would be able to use it is just impossible. Now, if the enemy is not taking uh, bleed, you put bleed for two turns, okay? So you're technically able to bleed yourself, and then also... Um, stun them afterwards but it's like you would have to reset your skill to cool down to even be able so the stun really isn't you're not able to use it that much if we're being honest now the alt is pretty cool this is the dimension slash ultimate um you get 100 percent of your attack as a barrier and considering now the problem is with this um that means you have to build them with attack many people are building magic attack and not attack but let's just say for example magic attack build usually has like seventy five thousand, so you would get about in game like eighty thousand um attack including buffs and, and your talents and all that so You'd be able to get a pretty good barrier of like 80k, but the problem is it's attack and not magic attack, so kind of sucks. Um, so honestly, just kind of bad because you, if you're running Yami, it's usually going to be with magic attack because of the fact that you just won't have attack built, is the main point. Now, you remove all instances of dot from self, which isn't bad. Um, and if you have the instances of skill one at max, you get a defense penetration. And if skill one is also at its max, you're going to be getting 300% damage increase on this ultimate, which is why it's so low. Because what it's at, uh, this is what, uh, 52, so 112% alt is not really that crazy, if we're being honest. Um, which is why this 300% damage increase is there. But it's only at max. So you're really not going to be doing anything. Like, you're not using this alt until you're at max um, stacks of this skill one. And then you reset your instances of the extra damage. So it's like, sometimes I don't even think it's worth it to use the alt unless you're about to die. Because then you get the barrier, right? So that's the main thing. Um, and then he removes counterattack on his uh, combo. So not crazy either. So that's his base kit. I think for uh, PvE, he is not that bad, right? Obviously, you get the single target. You give yourself a barrier every time, which we're, we're going to talk about. Now, he gets 30% increased damage when attacking a defender, which could be good. But in general, he doesn't do too much damage. But Black Ost is there. So, I mean, he could do something against Black Ost, I guess. It's just... It, it's not like insane, right? But it is good. Now, one thing about him is that he's at 109 speed, which does help him out a bit. He's much better on paper, though, than he is in game, I would say. Um, now, LR plus two gives him a barrier of 100% attack for one turn if your SP is equal to eight. So you're going to have a barrier for, well, the one turn. And it's going to be when you haven't used your alt. So every time you don't use your alt, you're going to get a barrier, which is why you want to use your skill one so much and get him to do two. Now, if he's at dupe five, he gets 30% damage reduction when his SP is at eight. So. I don't know. Um, he's going to be able to self-sustain in terms of barriers, but because of the fact that, um, besides that, he doesn't have much, it's going to be pretty easy to kill him a lot, like, especially if there's barrier removal, cough, cough, Mariliona, Black Asta, um, combos, right? A lot of stuff's going to be able to remove the barriers, and he feels kind of squishy, even though he has, like, a bit high, no, he has lower defense, never mind. I thought he was at 4,200, but he's not. Um, so, yeah, 
Yami, I think, could have uh, been a bit better. What I would have done maybe was make the skill 2 do more damage and the ult do more damage because the ult should have definitely been doing more damage. Um, this skill 1 is actually very good if you have the skill page. You would need the skill page, I'd say. Um, but it's more maxed out, right? Because that maxed out, you get 100% chance to attack after granting a 50% damage increase when using the skill 1. Plus it adds a speed increase. So, you know, it is a pretty good one. But overall, I think there might be some gimmick teams you can make with Yami, but it's just not as good as anyone else coming out. Especially now that we know that Spirit Dive and Mario are both on green, right? There's no point in summoning for this guy, but if you want to pick him, go ahead, right? Go ahead, nothing's stopping you there. Now, for luck, okay, um, he is basically just not usable um, in PvP at this point in time. A fighting Mono Red, maybe you could do something funny. I just don't see it working out. Um, but it is not bad, right? He would need to be at dupe 2 at the very least. Same with Yami, right? So there is that, but um, I just don't think he's really uh, affecting the meta much, if we're being honest. So let's explain. Let's go one, puts counter. Now, what's very cool about him is that he removes barriers. Because he's blue, though, it kind of sucks, right? Because he's blue. If he was red, this could be good. Removing barriers, mono, red, mono green, right? Could be cool. But because he's blue, right? He's just fighting an uphill battle, right? It's just he's going to remove a barrier on mono green, and it's just not going to be able to do enough damage, right? That's the main point. Um, so there's that. Now, the skill two is pretty cool. Puts counterattack on for one turn to allies who don't have counterattack. And if they do have counter, increase the counterattack duration by one turn. And then you inflict the execute with the skill page, which you're going to see you might need later on. Um, overall, this counterattack stuff is pretty cool. But it's just the problem with counterattacks is that, um, especially if there's a Mario Leona and she attacks you and you counter, you're going to increase the amount of burn she has or she puts on you. Not good. Now, this electrocute is nice, but it's just... Counters on the whole team, like, who's really doing damage? Only the DPS with it. So why are you giving it to everyone, right? Now, the reason why is because of this, but it's just the amount of damage you're doing with a counter just isn't cool. I hate how they don't make good use of these things. So, like, burn, right? Any dots, right? These types of buffs, where it's more so if you have these things applied, then you get a buff. It's not these things will do the stuff you want it to. For example, Zora. Zora's perfect, right? He has his thing where it's actually doing damage, his reflection, where this, you would want it to do damage, but it's not. It's the buffs that you get from having it, okay? Okay, what it does. So every instance of dot, uh, sorry, of a counterattack on an ally gives 40% increased damage, up to 160%, obviously, gives yourself a speed increase, and then puts a dot of electrocute up to, well, you can put up to three. And I mean, yeah, so that's gonna be a pretty good ultimate. And for PvE, it's gonna be nice, but for PvP, like the mono blue team just isn't it, right? It's not gonna be it for a while. So there's no point in going for luck, if I'm being honest, for PvP. But if you have a mono blue team ready for uh, PvE, you know, you could go ahead, right? Um, but mono green is like a lot of people already have Charlotte, so going for Yami is probably gonna be better. Now, if counter attack is present on top, you get 10% damage increase. Cool, I guess. Um, I don't know what to say. And then you need to dupe too, because it gives 70% damage reduction buff when you have counterattack, which is going to make it useful. It's going to make counterattack feel like you actually need it. So getting it to the dupe two is going to be good. And then dupe five is when you're attacking an enemy with a dot, you increase your special points by eight. So you're going to be able to get back your alt every single turn. If you alt and then skill two, then you alt again, skill two, alt, skill two, and it's going to be going pretty good. So yeah, luck, I'd say uh, probably uh, less worth it than Yami. We'll go for Yami because mono green is just in a better place than uh, mono blue. But, I mean, if you want luck, go ahead. They're both pretty cool. Um, Animation-wise, I think these are some of my favorites uh, for the seasonals and just in general. Yami's animations are beautiful, but it just sucks that it's a ceremony Yami and not just a dimension slash Yami. So, yeah, that's basically it. Um, these are the units. Kind of mediocre, right? They're there. I don't... They're, they're there, guys. They're, they're there. Like, Yami, probably the better pick, but that's basically it. Let me know what you guys think. Are you guys going to be summoning? Don't really summon. I think you guys could just... Um, Pick them from Gateway. Pick Yami from Gateway and then skip the banner. Okay, that's it. See you guys.